Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and today I wanted to do a review of the MX Ergo Plus trackball. I've been using the Logitech traditional mouse for years. I knew that they weren't all that popular and I did try it once. I wasn't really that crazy about it, but then when I saw this uh, Ergo Plus, I thought, wow, this looked pretty cool and the reviews started uh, looking very positive. Of course, some are gonna love it and some are going to not be fans of it, but it seems that a lot of people have found that this has become a lot more reliable, a lot more accurate, which is good. And so I thought I would give it a try. I wanted to uh, get a new mouse. I've had uh, one of, I've had the, uh, M the Anywhere MX mouse for many years, so I thought maybe get something different and this would be different to try. Uh, it's a nice uh, looking mouse. It's simple, it's gray. But uh, nice mouse, it fits well in the hand, uh, as you can see, uh, fits perfectly. Now when I first got it, and it does have a wedge so you can adjust the angle, it was my hands were bothering me and I was having trouble getting, you, getting used to using the trackball, but the more I've used it over the past week, the more I've really enjoyed using it. Look forward to sharing with you, got some really cool software on the computer that you can use and you can tie it in with multiple computers. So a lot of cool stuff. So let me first share with you what came in the box. This is the box. Got the lovely shipping sticker on there. Uh, <laughs> kind of just makes ruins the the nice image of the box but uh, I always like uh, the uh, look of uh, Logitech's packaging always very nice and nicely done here uh, and then within the box you obviously get the trackball you get uh, this magnetic wedge I'll share that with you in a minute and then you also get another wedge as well uh, I don't know if I'd actually call this a wedge I just this uh, magnetic piece then you also get the USB receiver, but you don't have to use the USB receiver. It does also work with Bluetooth. Uh, I did put a link in the description so you could get a lot of these details when you go to that page, read the reviews, and of course order it. Uh, and then you've got the charging cable. Now what is great about the charge on these, it, the battery life recharging lasts up to four months. Uh, if you don't charge it during then and it just dies on you, you plug it in for a minute, you get another a day's worth of usage. That is pretty awesome. So you don't have to worry about any batteries. You just use the uh, you know cable. You charge it up and remind yourself. Maybe put on your calendar every you know couple months, and uh, you'll be good to go there. So what is very clever about this is you can hold the trackball at the normal angle. They have this magnetic piece. Uh, this is like a rubberized material on the bottom, so this sits on your mouse pad. And then this connects to the bottom of the trackball there. And then now, what is very cool is instead of being, let's see if I can get that lock in place. There we go. Instead of being at zero, you can now be at 20. So you can see here in the, on the box, when you're holding it on more of an angle like this, it becomes a little bit more of a natural feel versus being at zero. Then you could take it to even another level with this wedge. And if you use the wedge, what you would do is you would put it at the 20, you would tuck the wedge in like that, and now you could be even at a uh, even at a more of an angle at 30 degrees. Now, when I started using it 30 degrees, it felt uncomfortable to me. I started getting tingling in my hand and uh, it just was a little uncomfortable. So I decided just to uh, remove the wedge and just stick with the 20 degrees. And so I've gone back and forth between zero and 20 and it works well. So I think that's really cool, unique and different that Logitech has come up with. Um, I also have connected this trackball with the Bluetooth to my computer and that works perfectly well. Uh, it also has uh, two Bluetooth connections so you could connect it to multiple computers. And it's really cool when you connect it to multiple com computers with the software I'll show you although it's not connected you have the ability to drop and drag files between two different computers so 
pretty amazing how they've come up with that. So you've got these two buttons which you can customize. Actually, you can customize all these buttons. Uh, the wheel rolls. Uh, it doesn't have one of these free wheels. So, you know, it's just, you can just uh, move it um, every so often. So you'd have to kind of push it up, push it down, but it's not freewheeling. Uh, but, and then you can also go right to left. Uh, I'm actually using now the volume. If I go to the right, if I go to the left, uh, it, uh, I lower the volume. So these two buttons, I've also programmed it to go page up and page down. Even though I have the wheel, I like the page up and page down. And I did another video where I didn't know how to do the page up and page down. They offer all these different other options, but I didn't see page up and page down. And somebody showed me how then you can choose. There's a setting in there that you can go in and then de decide what you want to use those buttons for. And then of course you have the trackball. Now you can easily pop it out. Uh, there's a little hole and you can just get like, there we go. I just dropped it. Whoop. So here I use some sunglasses or, or computer glasses and then that pops out and there's the uh, ball and then you could just push it back into place. Now you, somebody did point out with these track balls, you will need to clean the area from time to time. So do keep that in mind. Uh, you also have your charging port right here in the front. And then the, let's see, the, I uh, forgot where the, uh, on, oh, and the on and off button switch is right here. So you've got your on and off switch right there. And lastly, uh, anything else to share there? I think that covers most of it. Now what I wanted to do is dive in a little bit just to show you a few things on the computer. And uh, overall, I, you know, I definitely have uh, started the more, again, the more I've started using this trackball, the more I like it. Let me just see if there's anything else to share with you as far as on the technical side. So it says precision scroll wheel with tilt and middle cl click allows for precise scrolling and convenient controls such as horizontal scrolling. Operation distance is about 32 feet. And uh, I shared with you about the four month charge now, one of the things as well, talking about precise movement, there is a button right here uh, by the trackball. That button is pre for precise movement. So it's going to slow the trackball from moving, but it's going to make it a more for a precise movement. Uh, but as you can see, uh, and let me uh, open up this page here. This is my blog. Um, you know, it, it, it is moving very smooth uh, that I like. In fact, let me go ahead and zoom in on, on a little bit here so you can get a, a better feel. I'll move this out of the way. It does move very nicely. Now, if I were to press this wheel and then, and then the trackball, it does allow me to go up and down the page very quickly. There we go, now it's working. So I can go down, I can go up. So it is working. You just, I think what you need to do is you've got to press and hold the wheel firmly and then it should go. So now it's working fine. So it's nice when you can scroll up and down very quickly uh, on especially long page. Now, as I also mentioned that I have set up for page up and page down, so on these two side buttons, if I wanna go down a page, I press down, if I go up, I can press up and up a page. Now I can also adjust the settings on the different buttons within the software. There is software here, uh, and I also use the Logitech keyboard, but I'm gonna click on the key on the mouse, and it does give you an indicator how much battery life is. So when you hover over it, it says full and then also shows that it's connected Bluetooth. So you can program these buttons here. So you can do program the wheel, you can do the, um, when you have it go to the right, you can have it uh, choose the setting. You could go to the, if you go to the left, you could choose what you want it to do. And then you can also adjust, which I mentioned before, the up and the page up, page down. They call it keystroke assignment. So. For example, now I want to change this. If I click on that, 
here are all the different options that I have. So I've got a ton of different options that I can use. So I can do a keystroke assignment and then I could choose on my keyboard if I want that page up or page down, which is what I've done. I can also have it as my home, gesture button, email. Uh, it gives you about 20 to 25 different options, which is fantastic. And it allows you to do this with, again, these different sections that are where you hover your, uh, your trackball over and then you can adjust those settings. You can also swap the left and right buttons as well. Uh, so uh, that is something that makes it easier for you to remember Then fine. I don't know why you would, but it does have the capability. This is also, keep in mind, this trackball is only for right-handed people as well. So if you're left-handed, this will not work. Then we have the pro point and scroll. You have the pointer speed. You could smooth scrolling enabled or scroll wheel direction traditional and then inverted so you have that uh, capability and then flow is again where you can connect with uh, two different computers so welcome to logitech flow seamlessly switch between computers by moving your cursor to the edge of the screen quickly copy paste text images and files between them and then how to set it up they go through how to set it up and I think that's pretty cool. So I've heard mixed things. I th they say there's a little bit of a delay when, when you are going to, you know, use this. But uh, this is I don't, as you can see here, I don't have it set up. But it's, you know, a very cool thing that allows you to do. So it says please enable Logitech Flow on other computers. So I don't have it set up, but you can come in here uh, and uh, set that up. So very cool. But overall, I have been pleased with the trackball. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's not the most colorful looking uh, trackball, but hey, it, you know, it works. Um, just, I don't know why I was having problems, but I think I got it down pat. I guess, again, you just have to hold down the scroll button and then there you go. Now it's flowing smoothly. So all in all, very pleased with what I see thus far. And uh, the only other area where I do have a challenge is when I'm working on my videos, for example, and I want to tie my uh, voice because I have this microphone and I adjust it with my video, just moving that and angling it up right together so the voice matches up. It takes a little bit longer. I'm getting better at it. But if I turn this precise uh, button on, so I press this now, now you can see you are moving very very slowly now if I turn that off I can move it a lot quicker so it helps you to get a lot more precise in the movement and you know it's definitely a, a different experience but I'm, I am starting to really enjoy it and I would say give it a shot see how it works for you uh, Logitech has done a nice job and if you have any questions let me know but uh, this is a nice one and I'm just gonna you know, make a final decision for sure if I'm going to keep it or, or go to another mouse. But, uh, but I do, uh, for the most part, like it and uh, it's definitely growing on me. All right, everybody, have a great day and I hope you enjoy your Logitech 